Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan. So in the previous video, we had a discussion related to FSX for Windows. And in this video, we're going to have a demo related to the same. So as you guys can see, I am on the AWS console. Let's go ahead to the search bar and type in FSX. You can see that we get um, the service available over here. Let's go ahead and select the specified service. You know, um, here you go is the initial uh, creation page. We're going to go ahead and click on create file system. Now you're going to be given four options over here. Do you want it for NetApp or an ATP or you want it for open ZFS or you want it for Windows file system or Lustre. So in the previous uh, video, we did have a discussion related to the Windows file system and for Lustre. Again, if you're having any intensive workloads, compute intensive workloads, you would go for Lustre. But in this video, we're gonna look how can you create one for the with the Windows file system. That's why we're gonna select the Windows file server option. We're gonna click on next. Now. You're basically gonna open up a page that says what's your creation method. You want a quick create or you want a standard create. I'm gonna go with the quick create because I just wanna give you guys a small taste on how can you create this specified Windows-based file system in the cloud. Again, you can give a file system name, which again is optional. I'm just gonna give it as Windows File System. Awesome. What's gonna be your deployment type? Do you want uh, it to be a multi-availability zone, a single availability zone version two, or a single availability zone version one? Again, a multi-AZ deployment is always recommended as that provides you the highest availability. Now, in EFS, we did not need to provide any minimum capacity or a maximum capacity, but when we are creating this for Windows, we would need to provide a storage capacity. I am again going to go ahead and choose 32. Again, guys, you will be charged for creating this specified instance. So if you guys do not want to be charged, then please do not create this specified um, um uh, resource now you're going to choose your vpc again i am choosing all of the default vpcs that we have the default uh, preferred subnets the default standby subnets and all of that now you have again you have two ways how you can authenticate one is using the aws managed active directory or the self managed active directory again uh, if you guys do not have that you can simply click over here to create a new directory but i will not be creating a new directory as it is a very very long process to create one. I just wanted to give you guys a very small overview related to the quick configurations that are there out there for creating a um, uh, file system for Windows. And again, guys, if you do want to continue post this, please be aware that you will be charged for creating this specified file system because you have specified the minimum SSD size over here. And additionally, you're also creating an active directory. So I hope you guys did like this video. You got a basic understanding related to EFS. And if you guys did, if you did like this video, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.